Hey, what's up my humdingers? Uh, today I just wanna share some of some things from my collection. Uh, one of them is this Megazord. Uh, these are things that I wanted to play with when I was like, like 10 years old, but even better, I get to play with them when I'm 37. <clears throat> uh, this just came in, the Dragon Zord. And I originally purchased it um, at retail, but uh, for, for some reason, unknown to me, I, I decided to sell it. And uh, now I just repurchased it. But yeah, I'm not gonna let this go. And here it is. Uh, this is the Legacy Collection, so these are all pretty heavy. And uh, you know what? I should have uh, checked how to put these together before I started recording, but that's okay. Let's see. Oh, this thing looks amazing. Let's see. Oh, these come apart. So basically, I just want to attach it to my Mega Zord and make the uh, Mega Dragon Zord. I mean, it, it comes with instructions, but. I'm not going to look at that, at, at least not yet. OK, maybe maybe now is the time. Whoa. OK, so it has this like uh, drill tail that it comes with. And it attaches separately. Oh, with the drill. Looks like that. Oh, it extends out and connects together to make it stiff. There we go. Oh, so I thought if I remember from the original show, it just comes on top, but it's a whole thing. I have to take this whole thing apart. Uh, oh, okay, it opens like that. Close a frame, okay. It's supposed to have these arms and it go back inside here. But let's see, it already is inside. So we close this. Open these flaps. Okay. Open these flaps. Uh, oh, and then push these in. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, and a face comes down.
That's what we got so far. This is literally going to be a 15 minute long video of me playing with my toys. Okay, these come off the legs of the Megazord. Let's put this down and they attach right over here. Ooh, awesome. Okay, we put the Mastodon back. Is that right? But without the arms. These don't come off. Uh, okay, and then this goes back here. The, the Dragon Megazord was much larger compared to the Megazord itself. Okay, now, now we attach the arms back in. Why did you make me take it off in the first place? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay, no wait. This is um, battle mold. Is that correct? Battle mode. We haven't gone to the Mega Dragon Zord yet. This is battle mode. Okay. And it combines with this uh, to make a spear. So this combined with this. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Pull. Pull what? What is that? Oh. Is it part of this? No? Oh. Maybe it does go into here. Okay. Uh, this is huge. I don't know how they're going to wield this. But yeah, there you go. And that is the... Hey, where do you attach it? There's something that sticks out. Oh, right here. And this is the uh, battle mode. So it goes to the hand. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Might be better for just uh, decorative purposes. But yeah, awesome. A little bit impotent right there. Does this snap in? Oh, it does. Okay. There you go. Now it's all stiff. All right, there you have it. Okay, now I want to make the Mega Dragon Zord.
Okay, so we take this out. Hey, it's really in there. Put these aside. Now first we reassemble back into the Megazord. says to pull the face back, the, the horns, put these down, remove the pterodactyl, it's already removed, uh, put the face back in, excuse me, we'll open the, the dragon zord part out. Uh, and then fold these the chest plate inward. Okay, there's a place for you to snap it in or connect it. Yeah. Okay. And same thing, you open it and you put the the knees inside. All right. Oh, and it just goes right on top. Wait, what? Over the the head? Apparently, okay. It, it, yeah, it's right there. Awesome. It says to press this. Take a look. And where's the face? You have the O. Oh. back on time out time out does the head stay on or not looks like it does snap on okay Okay, clips on in the back, okay. There you have it. Mega Dragon Sword.